Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the uh, next uh, in the Nora webcast series. My very, very special guest today, I'll bring on in just a second. Uh, but can I uh, just remind uh, everyone who is uh, joining us this afternoon, uh, please uh, make, your, uh, make your presence known in the chat bar. If you're watching on any of the other platforms on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, uh, then uh, uh, please come over to, uh, to, to Crowdcast, but I, I will be checking for uh, for chat over there as well. Uh, today, uh, we're going to be talking about, uh, well, all things recruitment, but in particular, uh, the in-house recruitment expo, which is coming up. Uh, we we were just talking before uh, we came on live. We were talking about the fact that uh, uh, events are starting to, uh, to, to appear much more frequently. Now, obviously, we're coming out of... Uh, uh, a global uh, uh, calamity, and uh, uh, I think now is the, uh, the 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 best time to be looking at how events are helping uh, businesses get back to. Well, I won't say normal, but get back to being busy. Uh, and uh, uh, the very best people to do that are my very special guests today. So let's bring to uh, to the stage. Uh, I'm going to bring on uh, Joanna, uh, Joanna Burke, and uh, uh, Rebecca Fielding. Good afternoon, ladies. How are you? Yeah. I'm fine. Great Thank to see you. you. Thank you for having us. And uh, good to be here again, Stephen. Not it's so great to have again. you here. Time, time flies. It uh, does, it, I believe it. <laughs> for anyone who is in any doubt, and they shouldn't be, if they don't know already, then shame on them. But uh, can I ask you to introduce, introduce yourselves and tell us a, little, a bit about your background? Rebecca, why don't you go first? Fabulous. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us on today, Stephen. So my name is Rebecca Fielding. I've worked in the world of leadership development talent management for about 20 years. Um, if you've been to an IHRE event in the last five years, you've probably yeah. seen me uh, doing a masterclass or a seminar of one sort or another. Um, I worked in house roles uh, like the head of leadership and culture at ASDA, talent manager for the UK and Ireland for Hines, those types of businesses before establishing my own business about nine years ago. Um, mm. And we do all areas of kind of talent acquisition, leadership development, culture, all the sexy, fun people stuff, <laughs> uh, <Yeah. laughs> as well as being um, appointed last year as a fellow of the Institute of Student Employers, wow. which is a particular uh, passion uh, that, that of is mine. Cool. That kind of early careers, future talent, that that kind of space. Mm. That's me. Fantastic, Angel. Oh my God, how do I top that? <laughs> I should have, I should have come, gone after her. Look, what an amazing woman. What an amazing career. Well, um, I'm the director for VAB Events and uh, In-House Recruitment Expo uh, was one of the events we, we launched in 2015. So uh, we launched in London and then uh, back 2018, 19, we, we took the event on the road and uh, uh, up to the Midlands, to Birmingham. So mm -hmm. um, now... Uh, personally, my history always worked in media. I uh, worked in uh, publishing uh, for, God, I don't know, several years, six, seven years, wow. and then got into um, events um, in around 2006 um, yeah. at Haymarket Media Group. And uh, uh, that's when I, I basically fell in love with shows uh, and everything mm. to do with shows. So, covered a range of shows, different events actually. So, uh, conferences, awards, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, events was the thing that really grabbed me and uh, sort of um, sort of started this whole um, yeah. mad journey. I've just been totally addicted to driving shows and I've so in, 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 several in shows. this this line of events, attention to detail and being you know be, being scrupulously organised, uh, you know, to the nth degree. Uh, uh, must be absolutely vital. Uh, would you describe yourself as a very organised person? <laughs> no, I'm <just> saying, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. I, I'm a highly when it comes to my work, I'm highly, highly organised to a absolute um, yes, um, yes, to an OCD level. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you have to yeah. be a bit like that. Um, there's a lot of project management. Um, there's layers of detail and, and um, we're going to talk about that through this mm. um, yeah. <laughs> through yeah. this 25 minutes probably left yeah. of the amount of change that we've had to go through Absolutely. and experience in the last year and the level of detail we've now had to engineer into delivering our yeah. events. Oh, it's um, all so about hybrid. It's all about <laughs> hybrid. <laughs> it is. And um, yeah. so, yeah, the 
detail detail yeah. is a high high on the list. Of, so we we are yeah. all involved in in the uh, the the in house event uh, coming up. Yeah. Uh, uh, Let's play a little video that will give people a taster of the event, and then we can get into uh, to talking about that a bit more. So, if you bear with me a second, I'll just bring this video to the screen. Push the button. Punch <laughs> the button. Just make sure we're at the start. <laughs> realized i turned my mic off there uh, how cool was that i was saying that's uh, that's fantastic uh, great to see uh, i saw uh, rebecca your face uh screwed up a little bit when you saw yourself on screen oh no, I know. <laughs> oh, no not at all i'm i it's, it oh. was just one of those oh no look it's me yeah. um I, you know what? I was so i was so excited i was smiling all the way through that video because first of all i saw lots of brilliant faces you know friends yeah. connections professionals from across the sector that i haven't been able to see in the flesh for two years yeah and then yeah. the thought yeah. of you know seeing everybody back in the room um it's really exciting i'm so yeah. looking forward yeah. to being being yeah. back to have those conversations you know those those face-to-face eye-to-eye conversations that i've just missed so much yeah of course that's one of one of the, uh, the 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 things that everyone's gotten used to in the past 18 months is seeing themselves on screen so when we're when when it was the big move to hybrid events and to you know online events uh, then seeing yourself on screen uh, on, on screen had to we well, had to get used to it or stick a post it note over yourself on screen so you you weren't distracted by your own <laughs> face I saw some wonderful research recently. Somebody studied some stuff through MS Teams, mm -hmm. and apparently yeah. we spend an absolutely ridiculous amount of time looking at our own faces in meetings with other yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say when we're presenting, but when we're in meetings with other people, we're constantly looking at how we look and what our hair looks like. And it's, yeah. kind of it's the biggest distraction. Uh, th one of the cool things about Zoom, of course, is you can switch off yourself so everyone else can see you, but you can't, uh, which is pretty good for some folks. It's pretty good, apart from when you're the person leading the session. Oh, there is nothing more heartbreaking than a sea of blank screens. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. No, I, no, 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 I think it's a feature in Zoom. You can turn off yourself for yourself, but everyone else can still see oh, you. I see what you mean. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, but but I, I know what you mean. So, uh, Joe, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, the, the the evolution of uh, of the uh, the uh, the virtual in-house event and, the uh, and where, where we've where we've come to? Yeah, the dramatic transformation of mm. um, of of in-house recruitment expo summit 2021. Well, yeah. essentially, what we're doing now is we're taking one live event and uh, expanding it, the scope of the event over days, mm -hmm. uh, and and also we've engineered um, sort of a remote access into the event on the live day. So we kick off on Tuesday, the 12th of October, with a virtual, yeah. which is 100% remote, and then um, and that begins from uh, such begin from about 10 through to mm -hmm. 4 30 but you can you can join you us from 9 30 you, you, you can for a little bit of chat and a coffee yeah nine o'clock you can join yeah. 
Going from nine <laughs> and to a network and, and to, to get to, to know the platform and and uh, to set up your what you want to see in the day, schedule mm. your diary day. Um, we've got yeah. remote uh, the replay catch up networking day on the Wednesday. So that's more about um, you know catching up on any sessions that you missed on on day one and also continuing those meetings with our partners and and also with each other. So you can do that yeah. on there. And then the grand finale is we're back to live on the 14th of October. Fantastic. We'll get to see yeah. <laughs> and, and it'll be 18 months, 18, 18 long months of, of mm -hmm. no, no events at all, yeah. which is yeah. unbelievable. But we'll be back uh, in Birmingham at Edgbaston Stadium. And, yeah. uh, and we'll also, we'll and, also and I was going to say, you, you, you've missed out the most fun part here, haven't you? Because, yes, I, I mean, I think the three of us are all really looking forward to being back in a room with everybody. Oh, yeah. But... I absolutely acknowledge there will be people here today and people across the sector who don't feel ready to be mm -hmm. in a room with other people. So the really exciting thing about that live day is we're also going to be doing a live hybrid streaming at yeah. the same time. So uh, yeah. we're going to be doing a bit, you know, going around and chatting to people and bringing exhibitors and also broadcasting some of those sessions and doing a bit of Q&A yeah. with people who are there at the live event. So even if you're not quite ready to be there with us in person, hopefully Joanna and I will be able to bring it to life for you. It was, life will be life will be happening. Life will be happening <laughs> all around us. Yeah, we will, yeah, we yeah. won't be controlling it. It's going to be really fascinating to see how Absolutely. all of this plays out. But um, yeah. we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be very exciting to be doing this. The, the, you know, we were mm -hmm. talking about events earlier and how events are playing out in drawing uh, business and individuals back out into society at large again. Yeah. Um, yeah. One thing, uh, you know, I would say is that a lot of events that I've heard happening um, in America and also even here, they're not, they've not been doing hybrid at all. Mm. So that's, that's, that's the key. The key thing for me is that is uh, you've, you've, fascinating. you've got, but you've got your dedicated event uh, yeah. followed by a dedicated online event followed by a hybrid uh, live and, uh, and an online event in it, and not followed yeah in, yeah well yeah uh, yeah but uh, the, the 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 key thing that everyone else has been doing is is well how did we get back to what we were doing before yeah no. without realizing that the world has changed it's we're not changed. going back to the it's, way things were it's changed. and the genie's outside out of the bottle yeah. and too many uh, people experienced yeah remote access last year so yeah. and people yeah. so people have been to lots of virtual events and mm. uh, and and initially it was all new initially it was novel and it was what can you do you have to go to a virtual event but there are so many huge benefits to virtual events uh, as well as live and everything in between because if you're on the other side of the planet you can come to an event that's in Perfect. Birmingham uh, yeah. You can come to uh, you, you can you can see the event afterwards. Uh, you yeah. can watch it live. You can interact online uh, in the same way as uh, if I was watching tennis on TV or snooker on TV, I get a great view. Uh, but if I was in the room, it's a whole different experience. Yeah. You don't you, you know you 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 don't get uh, the, the the same amount of detail. You maybe can't focus as much. Well, some people can't focus as much work wise on the detail that's being shared and mm -hmm. get the the takeaways. So the virtual events there's huge benefits to that. Uh, and they are quite different to uh, the in-person events. But when yeah. you've got your hybrid going on, mm -hmm. best of both worlds. Oh, yeah. We're going to, Joe and I are going to be channelling our uh, Claudia Winkleman and, and Tess Daly. <laughs> so we're going to have it going on live. <laughs> Absolutely. He's Claudia and he's Tess. That's Absolutely. It's all uh, about the power female lineup hosting and presenting. So yeah, is. that's that's what we're gonna be channeling. We're gonna hold on a second. Are you saying that I'm the Brucey in this situation? I think that would be excellent. <laughs> <laughs> well, go on, say his tagline. Go on, say it. What is it? Go on. What is it? Nice what is this tagline? See you. Nice to see you. See you. I need to have a bigger <laughs> chin. <laughs> Don't worry, my chin's big enough for everyone. Don't good, game, good game, good <laughs> game. Good game, good game. <laughs> so, no, very good, very good. No, but it's it's uh, so it's a it's a whole new world. Yeah, and you yeah. know we, we've we've embraced it. It's not it's complex in terms of planning. Mm. It's complex in terms of delivery. Absolutely, there's more work. However, mm. 
the, the the benefits that you've described um from the audience perspective from yeah from you know from partner perspective it's you know for us it's about communicating with our audience to say we recognize the changes that you've been through and that you're going through and mm -hmm. you know we're reflecting that not only reflecting we we're embracing it yeah. and we're show demonstrating our duty of care to you yeah in in that if you can't come we you can still mm -hmm. access the event we've we've created and curated content mm -hmm. that will that, will that you can plug into yeah, yeah. and for yeah. those people who are going to be there um part of the kind of live streaming and hosting in between the sessions you know we will be encouraging those people who are there to come up and have a little chat with me talk yeah. to those people who aren't bring the live to bring the event to live so yeah. um, if you're going to be mm. there in person there's also an opportunity to be part of that digital yeah. world as well come join in that us. conversation so to so make sure you've got your slap on oh, absolutely yeah come and have a chat with me <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. No, it's gonna be great. so g go going back to the uh, so the, on on the the 13th uh sorry on the 12th rather 12th, on the 12th yes. What's was unique about uh, uh, in house recruitment live virtual? Oh, it's what got to be the breakout out? rooms, hasn't it? Yeah. You want to, yeah, yeah. The breakout oh, yeah. The new for this year is the breakout rooms. I Do can't argue with you on that as I'm running one of the rooms. <laughs> <laughs> So I think the thing that I really like about this concept is it's rather than somebody presenting, you know, a face mm. or a case study or something like that, it's more of this kind of question time, panel yep. debate type approach so that people can get involved in a discussion, a debate. And, yeah. and, you know, the hosts of those breakout rooms are going to be encouraging some difference and of, of opinion yeah. and some divergent opinion and drawing that out. And so yeah. many of these issues that we're facing are, are complex and are nuanced and are different by different sector and we're, yeah. we've all been sat in our own little bubbles trying to work them out i think it's going to be fantastic to be able to have these sessions that are chatham house yeah. rules people can yeah. follow their feet to the topic that is most relevant or most interesting to them and get involved and hear some different opinion some diversity of thought and really get in amongst a topic yeah. i think that's really different from a lot so, of the other kind of the other digital events i've gone to have been very kind of consumption led so i feel like i've been yeah. it's been quite dry quite passive yeah. this yeah. can be much more active i i may be a bit biased as i'm doing one of the rooms but aside from me aside from me <laughs> the, the standout thing there is that the the, the the people who are going to be running those uh, breakout rooms master classes are absolutely stellar uh, you got Mervyn Divin, uh, Dinan, uh, Tony DeGraff, uh, yep. Theo Smith, uh, and uh, Andrea and, Wade. Andrea's Wade. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Everyone loves yeah. Andrea. Yeah. And Theo, did you mention Theo Smith? Yes. I mentioned Theo. Yeah. Theo is okay. a corker. He's a great speaker. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, it's, uh, uh, and of course, the, the, the granddad of uh, of recruitment, Mervyn Dinan. Uh, we <laughs> Oh my lord. I, love I, I was going to say, I, I didn't gonna hear that, me. and I definitely didn't say it. <laughs> I'll, I'll Everyone's favourite uncle, Mervyn Dunn. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm not going to tell him that. Yeah, we, did, we didn't yeah. say that, Joanna. No. <laughs> I th do you know, I, th I think Mervyn might be a little bit younger than me, so uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm digging a hole for myself, really. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah the, the the key thing about uh, that everyone has remarked on in you know all the virtual events that have been in the past while, and I've been involved in hundreds, is the ability to network or not. Uh, and many of the events, that's not really been an option. It's not really been a, a possibility. But with these, you get to interact. You get to feel that you're part of uh, of of the conversation, and you can if not look each other in the eye, because of course you have to look at the camera, not the screen, uh, then you can, you know, discuss with people and, and get a feeling for, right, where are we in the uh, in the, the, the coming back uh, of, uh, of business and recruitment and hiring. And we know that business and recruitment and hiring are ramping up like this right now. Yeah. But, but we all want to know, well, what's the detail behind that? How does that manifest itself? When you say you've got more jobs than you ever had before, what type of jobs? What, mm. you know, what 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 are the pushes and pulls in the marketplace that I should know of? Because all of that information factors into how I'm going to run my business or how I'm going to direct my staff to do what they're doing. So if I'm if I'm an HR director, uh, then I want to be absorbing as much information as possible so I can I can use that to make a plan, uh, and I'm happy to share my plans with other people too. 
Absolutely. There was a fascinating piece of research that was released earlier this week um, by EMSI, the labour market mm. specialists, and they categorised it by high, medium and low level skills jobs. And they were looking at the most yeah. in demand skills. I don't know if you saw it, it's a bit of an interactive chart. Number one, high level skilled job, the most in demand skill talent acquisition oh really wow, wow. Yeah. absolutely so that gives you an indicator yeah. of the demand in our market we can't even fill our own jobs <laughs> 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 never mind meeting the demand that's this exponential growth that we're seeing across the market so i just think this is such a pivotal time for yeah. our community for our sector mm -hmm. to coming back together in this yeah. way i'm tempted yeah. to go back to hands-on recruitment are you? <laughs> You'll be in demand. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm I'm what people would refer to as a burned out recruiter. Uh, and, really? Uh, <laughs> if you if you see me uh, recruiting for a job again anytime in the future, feel free to shoot me. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's it's one of the it's one of those roles that, and more and more so now, if you're in recruitment, you have to be all in or not at all because. It's such a busy marketplace and you have to pay attention to so many things at the same time. If you're only doing it some of the time, then you'll, you will you will fall on your face. Uh, and, now, and the, sorry. I was just going to say, Steve, now that that is a fascinating point of debate, particularly when you're looking at the next generation coming into our workforce who do not want to be there all of the time. And they want, mm. you know, that work life blend, that work life balance. It's it's fascinating. Yeah. We do a lot of work with that next generation entering the workplace. And I would say a lot yeah. of people actually post pandemic life has changed we all get to clock off at five o'clock and we're there we're, we're at home with our kids yeah. we're not we're not across the country so i think that's one of those things that's really particularly for a sector like ours you know sales recruitment those that have always been all on all of the time um mm. i wonder if we're going to see some cultural changes in the way that we do things and at the moment we're just under so much of a squeeze yeah. you're right people are people are burning out because it's there's yeah. so much going on I've got a little so the, issue. I'm going to put my hand up. Go on. I've got yeah. to get my charger for my. Uh, this has never happened before. I've got uh -oh. one minute before I disappear. <sighs> so I'm just going to. I'm literally talk for two minutes. I'm, I apologise, audience. This is not great. But there you go. I I'm, don't I'm putting your name in the book. I don't yeah. want Joanna to Burke forgot to charge her <laughs> device. That's that's that's, that's like an online event crime, isn't it? Right. So, <laughs> just do you want to reduce my screen and then i don't know can you do some magic with the screens and then i, I can switch I your can camera off back. in the meantime while, while and then you, I'll come you, back. you yep 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 okay you do that <laughs> so rebecca uh, uh, as uh, uh, yeah isn't that that's an absolute crime uh, uh online crime by uh, you know coming up i can still i best turn the microphone off because she's probably cursing at the same time uh, but uh, <laughs> But yeah, as, as I was saying, the, the the key to all of these events through the pandemic, when we started everyone having Zooms, you know, March last year, was everyone was wanting to gauge from everyone else. So, what do you make of it? What do you? What's your understanding of whether it be you know the the the, the pandemic itself, the health crisis, what it's doing to business, what it's doing with your staff, what it's doing with you know any number of things going on, and those regular early zoom meetings everyone was just learning how to use the technology but what we were all looking to do was make contact with someone on the other side who would say well this is what's happening with me how about you and that connection because we then have the shared experience so coming back in events whether they're virtual or hybrid or in person then that's what we're looking to do because we want to look each other in the actual eye or in the virtual eye and say are, are we ready are we going to go I can't, couldn't agree more. I think there is, you know, there's that, as you said, barometer of the market. Mm. You know, where, yeah. where are we going? What are we doing? What's working for you? Um, are we all ready to go? What's the level of confidence um, yeah. in UK PLC and, and amongst talent acquisition and recruitment professionals? I completely agree. And a good friend of mine described this period of time to me as uh, BC, DC and AC. So before COVID, <laughs> during yeah. covid and after covid and i think we we all went through that 
kind of recalibration and rapid acceleration to new ways of working you know be from before covid into during covid i now think we're in this second period of acclimatization mm -hmm. and adjustment and recalibration as we take yeah. from during covid into after covid and i yeah. think this is where we are creating that awful term the new normal mm -hmm. <laughs> i think this is you know when we're starting to work yeah. out so what's going to stick what is going to stick for a lot of people um and and what's not going to stick and i think yeah. that's probably going to be a lot of the chat at this yeah. event i think what what are you going to keep and what are you going to get rid of as soon yeah. as you can <laughs> do, you, do you know what i think so uh, uh, people always talk about this phrase the new normal uh yeah. and we don't know what that is going to be so i think the, the the thing that you know is a definite thing is the old normal so i think if we refer to the old normal the new will take care of itself but the old normal so if, if we were able to say well the old normal way that we would do this that and the other that's a fixed thing because that has ended you know it's got to the end of its lifetime we've finished with that we're now making a new future uh so going back to the uh the, the event uh, virtual and in person uh what what can uh, what can typical uh recruiters in-house recruiters look to be gaining from the event what are they going to be uh, seeing and, uh, and and ultimately going home with well, I think the key for me is the lineup of masterclasses and seminars. Yeah. So there is, you know, a phenomenal range of speakers. Every time I've been to the event, I've typically been delivering one of those sessions myself, but I yeah. always take the opportunity to duck into as many of the other ones as I can. You know, there's brilliant yeah. industry experts um, uh, coming along. There's case studies from other employers. Um, there's great examples. For example, you know, we've got the NHS coming along to share that rapid mm -hmm. recruitment of people who are involved yeah. in the vaccination program. Wow. Yeah. Um, what a case, case study, study for us to learn from. So yeah. I think that's the first thing for me. The second thing is, as you said, that barometer of mm -hmm. the market um, and that yeah. sense of what are we sticking, what's sticking and what are we getting rid of as soon as we can and what's working in different <laughs> sectors too. Yeah. Um, I think sometimes, you know, particularly somebody who works in professional services myself, it's easy to assume that we've all been through this massive period of transition. Actually, a lot of people in a, particularly our client base in manufacturing, yeah. in logistics, in retail, in nursing, in care, mm. they haven't gone anywhere. Life hasn't changed. You know, they they well, yeah. have been working face to face throughout the whole of this pandemic. Some things may have changed for them, but but actually a lot of remains the same so what are they, well, taking? A lot busier. Are they changing well exactly yeah, exactly yeah, so yeah. you so, know i think those I, I, are the key I, things those are the key i was things. just going to say that we, we we shouldn't play favorites but let's play favorites uh <laughs> of the uh, of, of the speakers that are lined up aside from the master classes we've mentioned people who are going to be hosting them including me yeah. uh but let's not go on about it uh, but of of the speakers that are going to be there, uh, I, I, I've been looking through and I see. Uh, so Sophie Lowe from uh, you were mentioning the yeah. NHS Trust, uh, St Thomas Trust, uh, is going to be speaking about the NHS. Uh, Illumina uh, Tim Hull yes. uh, is going to be speaking, uh, who I think will be fantastic. Uh, any of the others that you're going to mark a circle, you'll definitely be there to uh, to, to to take those in. Oh, I'm definitely going to be going to Stephen Isherwood's session. Um, yeah. So Stephen's the chief executive of the Institute of Student Employers and always has just a huge amount of data and insight yeah. that really underpins what's happening. And I think for me, I you know, I have a, a, a particular passion for that early careers and future talent market. So I'll definitely yeah. be going along to that one. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, there's there are probably just too many others to mention to be honest this, there's a lot of good ones tim tim was on my list as was sophie so we've obviously got the same taste <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna share the the link for the seminars in the uh, right. in the chat bar there so anyone who wants to link, link through two of them you can see them there and, and yeah i mean we, we, we could talk about each one of them all all day uh, they're all experts in the field and for me if if i was if, if i was picking out the ones that i wanted i'd I'd be very keen on anyone who's got stats, anyone who's got mm. stats and, and can back them up with, you know, case studies. This is what actually happened. And as a result of that, this is what we, to a degree of confidence, foretell what's going to happen. So we can predict, uh, uh, well, we can make a plan based on that. Uh, and this is what we are doing. This is what we think is going to work for us. Take from that what you will. And other organizations will be able to read into those stats and, uh, and, and, and translate them to how it could, how it could affect what they do and how they do it so uh, mm. any any event like this that i'm going to i'm i'm assessing the 
the perceived expertise of the person uh, who's who's speaking, uh, the content that they have, the sharing, where does it come from? Is there any is there any bias in there? Are they saying that because oh yeah, they would say that, or uh, are they are they revealing insight that you just wouldn't see elsewhere? Because what I want is uh, you know the, the the bold truth and and uh, insight and information so that any decisions I make are informed decisions. Yeah, absolutely. The other thing that I often look for is is practical insight and takeaways. So, yeah. you know, that might be sometimes come away from some sessions and think, well, that was interesting. Mm -hmm. So what? So I yeah. always ask people, look for that <laughs> so what factor? What difference? Yeah. When you go back to the office and your boss asks, so what are you going to do differently? Have you got mm -hmm. some answers for them after investing yeah. that, that time and energy? You know, you know, the people at, uh, in, in, you see, especially in person events who turn up and they've got the notepad and they're they're jotting down oh this this I'm going to do this and what they're doing is they're saying as soon as I get back to the office these are the things that I'm going to make happen instantly and those people are great because they've come with a plan uh, they're looking for ideas and they're going to go and put them into effect uh, as soon as they get back and that's fantastic and when I see a speaker speaking and I see people in the audience you know feverishly uh, taking notes uh, that's one of the best indicators that you know there's good value from this talk. People Absolutely. are learning something that they didn't know before. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Something I always yeah. look for. And, you know, if somebody comes back again, also usually a good sign that what they did last year was pretty good <laughs> <There's demand laughs> for them to come Absolutely. back again. <laughs> Absolutely. Talking about coming back again, I, I think we, we've we've failed in being able to get Joanna back again. Uh, she's uh, she's not been able to log back in. And we've just come up to time. Uh, so... Uh, Talking about time, time is upon us. The uh, to recap on the dates for anyone who uh, who who hasn't yet put it in the diary, and if you haven't, oh come on. Uh, but uh, so the virtual event is on the twelfth of October. Yeah. Uh, the replay and networking on the thirteenth of October, the next day, and on the fourteenth is the in-person event at the Edge Baston Stadium uh, and remote, as you say, at the same time. It's going to be hybrid. Uh, I I if I can get to Edge Baston, I'll absolutely be there. Uh, I, I, I've made a plan. I've blocked out the day. I'm going to be there, uh, unless unless a catastrophe happens. I will absolutely be there for the full of the virtual day, uh, and uh, and getting involved in masterclass is going to be a, a, a real treat for me. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, yeah. One way or another, it's going to be three days of uh, of, of uh, uh, absolute treat. So uh, uh, I hope you have a fantastic time, as much as I'm planning to. Absolutely. Looking forward to spending it with everybody and particularly looking forward to the live broadcast at the event. Yeah. I think that's going to be really good fun. Yeah. Be before you go, Rebecca, what's your policy on, because you, you going back to in-person events, what's your policy on hugging? Are you going to be doing this? No. Back off. Or? I'm, I'm a hugger. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to be I'm going to be the person asking whether or not it's appropriate. Are you comfortable for me to hug you? I've I've missed hugging people a great deal. I have to say, Stephen. So. I'm totally fine with hugging. I, I, I'm married into Italians, so they're they're hugging and kissing all the time. But uh, I'm a big fan of this firm handshake. So uh, oh, uh, I'm, I'm very conscious that that uh, when when I'm introduced to a stranger, especially especially women, there's an expectation that women have to hug everyone. Do you know, I'm fine with a handshake. A handshake is absolutely fine. You, you'll only get a hug from me if I know you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so, absolutely fine. So you'll probably be getting one now, Stephen, just to let you know. Cool. Everybody else gets a nice, firm handshake. But I'm also conscious, you know, there will be some people who come to the event who aren't even comfortable with that at the moment. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I, yeah. I think we've all got to get comfy with with checking out absolutely. those permissions and comfort levels that everybody haven't we? It's absolutely. all part of that, that new normal. Excellent. So on that note, uh, new, the new normal, I'm going to say thank you very much, Rebecca. Uh, thanks, uh, Joanna. I'm sure she's uh, she's still watching, but not been able to uh, to get back in. And uh, I look forward to seeing you uh, uh, next week. I'll be after next, rather. Absolutely. Thanks for having us, Stephen. <laughs> thank you, then. Adios. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks for joining. Bye.